So we'll see how they hold up in the squat test. This is what I like to see with logos. Very tight on my thighs. These are like really stretchy. And now I'm certainly having second thoughts. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, today I'm reviewing another popular Instagram legging brand, Lazuli Label. So I'm actually pretty excited to review this brand because I have been following them since they first started. I think it was last year, maybe the year before, but I remember when they first launched, they literally only had like one size of leggings because that's like all they could afford to do. And now they have grown so much. They now have tops. They have multiple sizes. I still feel like the size range could improve a little bit. And they have two styles of leggings. So I got both of the styles of leggings today and one of the tops. If you haven't heard of this brand before, it was started by Kate Taylor. Definitely thought her name was Taylor Katie because of her Instagram name, but now I know. And her friend, Sarah Grace. I also find it funny that Kate, one of the owners, is also an athlete athlete. Maybe she's just like an athlete affiliate or something, but you would think that it would conflict to like have your own brand and be an athlete for another company, but I guess that just means that they're flexible. I love a good pair of seamless leggings and it's so hard to get them right sometimes. So I'm definitely pumped for these. The air seamless are more like a basic seamless legging. I'm mostly excited for these sculpt seamless because they have like these like sculpting, like contour compression details that I feel like will be really flattering. And they kind of remind me of the Alphalete Halo leggings, which love those, but those have been known to rip in the crotch, unfortunately. Hasn't happened to mine. You know, it could happen. So maybe these will be a step up, who knows. They're also pretty reasonably priced. The leggings were like $50 and I believe it was free international shipping, which was nice. And the shipping bag they sent it in is 100% compostable. So I feel like this brand is going in the right direction. I'm excited to give them a try. Before we get into the review, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more and follow me on Instagram because we always have fun stuff going on over there. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little weird in this video. I bit my lip the other day and it's like right on like the inner border of my lip and it really hurts. So honestly, it kind of hurts to talk, but we still got to film videos. The show must go on. Anyways, let's start talking about everything. So first I got the Air Seamless Leggings. These were $49. Around the Gymshark price range, maybe even on the cheaper side of Gymshark. And they're just kind of a basic seamless legging. I got a size small in these and I got a size small and an extra small in the sculpt leggings because Kate, the owner, is an extra small. So I was like, I feel like if she can fit her like perfect giant butt into an extra small, then so can I. My butt is not that big. So it has a nice thick ribbed waistband, seems like it's gonna have a lot of compression and it blends seamlessly into the body of the legging. It's made of a classic like thicker seamless material, one that's gonna be pretty good for performance, gonna hold up to pilling. Um, I've really never had a legging in this type of material to pill. Oftentimes a material like this is a marled fabric, but this is a solid. I would just like to say that a lot of leggings, when I look at the seams, you can kind of tell on like the flat lock type seams if it's like good quality or not, because if the company doesn't have great like quality control, you often have like little like you know, fuzzy sticking out, the fabric doesn't quite lay together. The seams on these look pretty much perfect and I don't see like a single area where it's like messed up. Another thing that makes me intrigued about the quality is their logo. This is like, this is what I like to see with logos. So props to Lazuli because I see so many cheap logos and this is actually like a rubberized like thick logo that like holds up when you stretch it and it's not like those cheap little like press on logos like Gymshark has and it's just nice to see. So I'm definitely pumped about that. A logo like this, especially one that matches the color of the fabric just makes the leggings look a lot more luxurious but yeah there's nothing to like separate the glutes at all so we'll see if it gives like that unibutt because oftentimes seamless leggings have the capability of doing that but these feel pretty stretchy these are made of 75% nylon 25% spandex all right so here they are and these are actually like incredibly stretchy and super soft and definitely how I like my seamless leggings to feel the waistband also has a good amount of compression this is a size small I was almost a little worried about the smalls but I think that this is a good size for me so I would definitely say true to size, but size down if in between, because they do have a lot of stretch to them. But as you can see in the small, I'm getting no gaping in the waistband. And it also hits at a nice high rise on me. This is definitely a true high rise, covers my belly button. I did pull them up a little bit because they're seamless leggings. I don't really have to worry about like camel or anything, but these are like really stretchy. So here's a close up of the waistband on, nice and ribbed. Um, I would say overall, these give me about a light to medium compression. They're definitely like on the thinner side. They're thicker than a Gymshark Vital Seamless, but thinner than an Energy Seamless. I would say they kind of feel like Energy Seamless, but 10 times as stretchy. Like sometimes the Energy Seamless can get a little bit stiff. These are definitely a lot stretchier and I think they definitely nailed the fabric. Definitely a fan. In terms of camel, you don't have a front seam, so you don't really get a lot. I'm also not getting a lot of gathering, even though I pulled them up 
a decent amount so I would say that pretty good on that front. I wouldn't feel like embarrassed wearing these to the gym. In the back you actually can make them decently flattering on the glutes even though they don't have a seam or anything. The fabric is really nice and stretchy and weightless so you can kind of pull it around your glutes to kind of contour to them and just complement the shape well. I would give these medium, maybe medium to high on the booty scale depending on how you situate them but I actually say they're pretty, pretty flattering. I'd say maybe cellulite friendly, not cellulite proof for these. They don't feel super thick. They're also just a solid color, so they're not going to do a great job of hiding any cellulite. Um, the next ones will probably be better at that. In terms of length, we have almost an ankle length, so pretty good. Um, when you have really stretchy leggings, sometimes they can just like be a little longer because you can kind of like pull them down a little more. This material is not going to pill, not going to collect any lint, and it's going to be definitely good for your, like, your leg days with your bands. It's not going to like, you know, fray or anything. They may show a little bit of sweat just because it is a solid color, but in my experience I don't usually have a ton of sweat issues in seamless material leggings so they should be okay but they're definitely more of like an opaque solid material than like an alphalete legging so you will have a little more than that. Let us do the sit test. So we sit. They are like pretty high. They like fold a little bit but it looks like they bounce back pretty well when I get up so I would say that these pass the sit test. In terms of stretchiness I would actually say that these stretch pretty well. Um, sometimes with seamless leggings the material is a lot stretchy stretchier than the stitching. I would say that the stitching definitely gives like a teeny bit of resistance, but I don't see it being a problem ripping or anything. So yeah, they're pretty plain, but honestly, I don't really have a lot of critiques of these. I think that they're pretty solid seamless leggings. So we'll see how they hold up in the squat test, but so far so good. So everything was fine and dandy about these leggings until I watched the squat test. And now I'm certainly having second thoughts. I'm now gonna double squat test them with a pair of bright pink underwear. And I just looked in the mirror and I don't think it's looking good. So I don't know why it's so hard for people to make seamless leggings squat proof. I know there's like a hard balance between like super stretchy and then like super opaque, but it's possible. And I feel like I've been let down. Next we have these Sculpt Seamless Leggings. And these ones I'm a little more excited about because I love the contour detailing. And these are the same price as the last ones. So I think it's pretty cool that even though these definitely have more details and I feel like this would be more expensive to make, they're still actually the same price. These ones have more of a thicker rib situation in their waistband. They also have a little stitch that comes from the waistband and then blends into the side contour detailing. Before we get into the contour details, they have that same little matching rubberized logo on the front, which I just think is so cute. And in the front, you can see kind of wrapping around from right under the glutes. You have a compressive ribbed detailing in the front and then not really much else in the front. The details on the back I feel like will definitely flatter the glutes so you do have the seamless waistband of course. This one also has kind of that like widow's peak type detailing coming down from the waistband. It also has one of the little pseudo seams in the middle that kind of acts like a seam but isn't really like a stitch. And then you have the side contour detailing that wraps around under the glutes which is similar to the Alphalete Halo leggings personally. This kind of compression is also so good for hiding cellulite and like lifting your glutes a little bit and for anyone tries to tell me that like I'm trying to tell you you have to hide cellulite. No. If you have cellulite, which most people do, there's nothing wrong with having it show, but some people don't want to put it on display all the time. So a type of legging with a contour like this is really going to be good for that. And then you have a little bit at the bottom of the ankle. So a lot of cute details here and the stitching just like the last one looks really good and looks like it's definitely going to hold up. Hopeful for these. These are the extra small. I also got a small on the charcoal black gray color, so we'll see which one fits me better. Silly me for thinking I could be an extra small because this region is very tight on my thighs and I definitely cannot get them all the way up and I feel like if I squat too much in these we're gonna rip a hole. So uh, let's get into the smalls. All right so I think I'm just having some sizing issues with the sculpt leggings because I really just couldn't get the extra smalls on. They are definitely really compressive in the little ribbed compression region. Obviously I was expecting compression in this area but they're actually just like feeling a lot tighter. It's less of a stretchy compression and more of like a stiff compression. So if your thighs are just too big for this area, like you're just not gonna fit into it. My thighs are like literally almost the size of my waist. So we have some issues. <laughs> but in this size small, I don't think this small fits me quite as well as the last one. It feels a little bigger than the air seamless small because I'm definitely getting some slight gaping in the waistband and you can definitely see it when I 
squat down too. So I felt like the air seamless or more snug on my waist in the small. So because of that, I'm not getting a ton of compression in the waistband specifically. Overall, the leggings have about a medium compression, but it's definitely a high compression right under the glutes. I'm also getting some extra fabric in this region, which I did not have in the air seamless. So I think in general, like these round a little bigger, except for this part is like super tight. This extra compressive region does go right underneath your glutes though. And it is like pretty tight. So I actually feel like these are definitely enhancing the glutes. There's nothing like squishing the glutes themselves down. It's just right underneath. So I would say probably a high on the booty scale for these, to be honest. This is pretty enhancing. I would definitely call these cellulite friendly, maybe even cellulite proof. This fabric actually has a marl texture as opposed to the air seamless where totally a solid. I would compare this material most to an alphalete seamless material, which is kind of like a super soft, lightweight, marled material. These ones are pretty full length on me. These ones will be a little more sweat friendly than the last ones because of that marled material and just this fabric just would hide sweat a little bit better. You also won't get any pilling or lint collection on these. It will hold up to more intense workouts. In terms of sizing, it's kind of hard to give a full on sizing record recommendation at this point, just because I'm kind of struggling with the sizing myself. I would say true to size, maybe size up if in between, unless you have thin thighs. Like if you're a thick thigh girl, you might struggle with these leggings. If you have thinner legs, these probably will work a little better for you. This one isn't super tight on my waist. So getting about the same as last time, these ribbed waistbands are pretty structured. So they tend to bounce back pretty well after sitting. And it definitely wasn't cutting into me at all. There's no bands or anything to cut in. A little bummed about the sculpt seamless. I totally thought I'd be absolutely in love with these. But the thigh tightness and just like my issues with the sizing, they just personally don't work for my body super well, which is such a bummer because I can tell that they're nice quality. They're really beautiful leggings and flatter on the glutes. So I'm a little bummed. I just got a very simple tank from them. This is the NOLA vest in a size small. It's only $27, so I think that's pretty reasonable. I don't feel like their tops are really, really like shine as a brand. I think in general, you can just pair any of their leggings with a basic colored like bra or top. They do have quite a few different top styles. Not all of them are for me. They have like some one shoulders, which I don't normally love. And they have some bandeaus, which I do not understand the amount of confidence you have in order to work out in a bandeau. Cause I just feel like that's gonna go like flop and just, you know, put the world on display. So props to you if you can wear a bandeau to the gym. I just, I could not do it. They look cute, but I'm just like, I need some straps. The logoing is pretty bold on their tops, but I kind of like the placement. So they have their little logo, which I do also like the design of their logo. I think it's pretty unique. And it almost kind of looks like you're wearing a necklace in a way. That's how I've always seen their tops, but it is a pretty bold logo. So if you're not into very bold logoing, their tops are probably not for you. Just a very basic top. It's actually a pretty soft material. Just a nylon spandex blend, little razorback tank. So let's try it on. All right, so here is the tank, or as they call it in the UK, a vest. Things can be so different friend in the US versus the UK. Like a vest is like a sleeveless like jacket, but in the UK, like tank top. Here it is, it's pretty nice. I did get a small. I would definitely say it's true to size. Pretty stretchy, it like fits the girls and also fits my like waist rib cage area. So that's pretty solid. The white isn't totally opaque. So you are gonna be able to see what color you're wearing underneath. So I just recommend wearing like white underneath. Personally, I don't care if you can like see that I'm wearing a sports bra underneath because like obviously I'm wearing a sports bra underneath. Here's a little logo. It is a nice quality embroidered logo. So I feel like they're killing it with the logos. The tank is just a classic eraser back, nothing's special. But yeah, it's solid. It's nice. It's a soft material. It's not like super brushed, I would say. Maybe kind of like Lululemon, Luan type material. Maybe a little thinner. Has good stretch to it. And it actually provides pretty good coverage. It's not like totally a high neck. And actually covers my whole sports bra at the side. So no side boob or anything. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty solid. All right guys, so that's it for the review. I have to say I'm pretty surprised that the Air Seamless I really had no complaints about and I thought I would totally love the Sculpt Seamless but ended up having some issues with them. So I kind of planned on keeping whichever Sculpt Seamless ones fit me 
best. But now that neither of them fit, not really sure which ones, if any, I'm going to keep. Maybe keep the Air Seamless, but I haven't decided yet. If you've ever tried Lazuli, comment down below and share your thoughts if you thought these leggings held up, if you liked the Sculpt Seamless and maybe like they just didn't work for me. As always, my reviews are only my opinion. I always find it like so funny when people get like personally like mad when I don't like a pair of leggings as if I'm insulting their character. I'm like, listen, we all have different opinions. If something doesn't end up working for me or if I don't like something, that doesn't mean you're wrong for liking it. These are just leggings and it's really crazy the amount of people who get like upset at these things, guys. I don't get it. I don't get it. If you made it this far, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!